Welcome, dear listeners. Today we journey into a divine mystery that has intrigued believers for centuries. It is a tale of love, unity, and eternal promises woven into the fabric of the Christian faith. We delve into the biblical prophecy found in Revelation 19, the marriage of the Lamb. Traditionally, this marriage is understood as the symbolic union of Christ and the Church. But today we explore an alternative interpretation, one that views the bride not as the Church, but as a divine woman from above. The scriptures refer to this beautiful being by many names, such as the Last Eve, the Mother of Us All, the Shekinah, the Other Comforter, Grace, Jerusalem, and the Daughter of Zion. The Book of Revelation, often shrouded in mystic symbolism and enigmatic imagery, speaks of a marriage. But this is no ordinary wedding. It is the marriage of the Lamb, the union of Christ with His Bride, Eternal Wife. This event is paramount, signifying the ultimate consummation of God's divine plan. But who is this bride? The traditional interpretation identifies the bride as the church, the collective body of believers. Instead, imagine a divine woman from above, a heavenly being of grace, mercy, and love. She is the last Eve, the mother of us all, known in the scriptures by many names, each reflecting her divine nature and role in the grand cosmic narrative. From the beginning, the scriptures show that the solo bride is mother, wife, and temple. This divine woman, the Shekinah, embodies God's presence and glory. She is the other comforter, providing solace and guidance to the faithful. Like grace, she bestows unmerited favor and love. As Jerusalem, she is the holy city, the dwelling place of God. As the daughter of Zion, she represents the people of God, chosen and beloved. The marriage of the Lamb and this divine woman is a celestial event of immense significance. It is a testament to God's unfailing love and faithfulness. It is a promise of unity and eternal bond between Christ and the last Eve, this divine woman from above, and the reunion with their offspring. This interpretation brings a fresh perspective to the scriptures. It invites you to delve deeper into the Word of God, to explore the rich tapestry of divine revelation with a keen and open mind. It encourages you to seek wisdom and understanding, to discern the hidden truths within the sacred texts. As we navigate the divine mysteries of the Bible, remember that each journey is unique. The understanding of the scriptures is a personal voyage, a spiritual quest filled with wonder and revelation. Seek the truth with a humble heart and a curious mind. Explore the scriptures with reverence and awe. The marriage of the Lamb in Revelation 19 isn't just a prophecy, it's a love story, an eternal promise, a testament to God's unfailing love and faithfulness. The Bible as a whole, from Genesis to Revelation, is a love story. In this divine narrative, the bride is not just a group of believers, but a heavenly woman, a divine presence known by many names in the scriptures. May this exploration of the marriage of the Lamb inspire you to delve deeper into the scriptures, to seek understanding and wisdom, and to explore the divine mysteries of the Bible with an open and curious mind. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the divine mystery of the marriage of the Lamb. Until next time, keep exploring, keep seeking, and remember, the Word of God is a treasure chest filled with divine mysteries waiting to be discovered.